Picture this, a star so massive, so radiant, that it dominates the night sky like a celestial beacon, calling out to anyone who dares to look up. This is Vega Prime, a cosmic giant nestled in the constellation of Lyra, a star that's been quietly stealing the spotlight from its neighbors for centuries. But lately, something strange is happening up there, something that's got astronomers buzzing, stargazers pointing, and even casual sky watchers pulling out their telescopes. Vega Prime, this dazzling orb of light, is acting, well, let's just say, it's acting like it's got a secret it's dying to share. And trust me, when a star like this starts misbehaving, it's not just a flicker in the night, it's a story that could rewrite what we think we know about the universe. Let's start with what makes Vega Prime so special. This isn't your average star, not by a long shot. It's a blue supergiant, a stellar heavyweight that burns hotter and brighter than our sun could ever dream. Imagine a star, 40 times the size of our sun, with a surface temperature scorching at 9,000 Kelvin, hot enough to glow with a piercing blue-white light that cuts through the cosmos. If you placed Vega Prime where our sun sits, it wouldn't just swallow Mercury or Venus, it'd gobble up the entire inner solar system, stretching its fiery edges past Jupiter. That's the kind of scale we're talking about here, a star so colossal it defies comprehension. But size isn't the only thing that sets Vega Prime apart. This star is old, at least in stellar terms, clocking in at about 10 million years. That might sound ancient, but for a star of its kind, it's like it's in its twilight years, ready to put on one final unforgettable show. Now stars like Vega Prime don't just sit there quietly. They're dynamic, restless, constantly churning with the forces of nuclear fusion deep in their cores. They fuse hydrogen into helium, helium into carbon, and on and on, building heavier elements in a cosmic furnace. But here's the catch. Blue supergiants, like Vega Prime, burn through their fuel fast, really fast. And when they start running low, things get interesting. The star begins to swell, its outer layers puffing out like a balloon, cooling as they expand. Vega Prime hasn't quite reached that red giant phase yet but it's showing signs that it's getting ready for a big change. And when I say big, I mean the kind of change that could light up our skies in a way humanity has never seen. So what's got everyone so excited about Vega Prime right now? It all started about two years ago, in 2023, when amateur astronomers began noticing something odd. Vega Prime, one of the brightest stars in Lyra, started to flicker in a way it never had before. Normally, this star shines with a steady, almost arrogant brilliance. But suddenly it was dimming, then brightening, then dimming again, like it was sending a message in Morse code across the galaxy. By mid-2024, professional observatories, including the brand new Orion Space Telescope, were trained on Vega Prime, capturing data that sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. The star was losing brightness at a rate of 0.02 magnitudes per week. Nothing catastrophic, but enough to raise eyebrows. For a star that's been a reliable beacon for centuries, this was like watching a lighthouse suddenly start blinking erratically. Let's pause for a second to talk about what it means to see a star like Vega Prime from Earth. This beauty is 455 light years away, which means the light we're seeing today left the star back when Shakespeare was writing his plays. That's right. Every time you look at Vega Prime, you're peering into the past, a snapshot of what this star was doing over four centuries ago. This time, lag is both 
a blessing and a curse. It gives us a window into the star's history, but it also means we're always playing catch-up. If something dramatic is happening to Vega Prime right now, we won't know about it until the year 2480. That's the wild thing about studying stars. They're so far away that even our most powerful telescopes are like time machines, showing us echoes of events long gone. Back to the present. Or at least, as present as we can get, with a 455-year delay. The flickering of Vega Prime, now dubbed the Great Pulse by astronomers, wasn't just a random quirk. Data from the Orion Space Telescope revealed something extraordinary. Vega Prime was ejecting massive amounts of material from its surface, plumes of gas and dust shooting out at speeds of 150,000 miles per hour. This wasn't just a little stellar hiccup. We're talking about clouds of matter so vast they could engulf entire star systems drifting out into space and forming a haze that's partially blocking Vega Prime's light. Scientists estimate that in just a few months, the star lost enough material to form a planet the size of Jupiter. That's not something stars do every day, and it's got everyone asking the same question. Is Vega Prime gearing up for the... Now let's talk about that grand finale, because this is where things get really exciting. Blue supergiants like Vega Prime don't just fade away quietly. When they run out of fuel, they go out with a bang. A supernova, to be exact. A supernova is the ultimate cosmic fireworks show. An explosion so powerful it can outshine an entire galaxy for weeks. If Vega Prime were to go supernova, it would be visible from Earth even in broad daylight. A blazing pinpoint of light that could rival the moon in brightness. For stargazers, it would be the event of a lifetime, a chance to witness one of the universe's most spectacular displays. But here's the million-dollar question. Is the Great Pulse a sign that Vega Prime is about to explode, or is it just another chapter in its long, dramatic life? To answer that, we need to dive into what makes a star like Vega Prime tick. Deep in its core, nuclear fusion is a constant battle between gravity, which wants to crush the star inward, and the energy from fusion, which pushes outward. As Vega Prime burns through its fuel, the balance starts to tip. The core gets denser, hotter, and starts fusing heavier elements, carbon, oxygen, all the way up to iron. Once iron starts piling up, 